Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. We are taking a tour of a coat closet that sits maybe about 10 feet away from the front door and two feet away from a half bath. I say that because then the finishing results, you won't see any kind of beautification on the door or anything like that. I want to keep this closet very practical to serve its purpose for our guests and our family. And right now it is in no condition to do that. We have an assortment of hangers and we've got the coats, you know, all thrown up there. And then for some reason, a red and white striped shirt has suddenly appeared in this closet. Not to mention there are lots of sneakers uh, and casual shoes in here. This is the closet where we store those because these are the shoes that we throw on to run to the store or just to go walking in. And I don't like for them to be in the other closet because they do have a lot more dirt on them than the other shoes do. So all these hats, all these shoes, these things are going to be cleared out and we are going to begin again. This is just way too many coats to have in a closet that's maybe close to four feet wide and very shallow and dark. Let's go to work. Amateur decorating like a pro. Now an overcrowded closet like this one is going to have an odor problem. Now I had to take a trip to the Dollar Tree to purchase South Paw kitty litter and also cotton balls and then containers for storage. And I purchased these for only a dollar and they are size D. You'll see what I'm going to do with those in just a little bit. Now these are those muslin flavor bags that I bought from Michaels a long time ago. They come about 12 to a pack for like $3.99. And here are a few of the essential oils that I already had lying around. Now for our heavy wool coats, I place a few drops of essential oil onto a cotton ball. Now this doesn't have a dropper, so that's why I have to do it this way. Sometimes I do put it onto the plate so I can see it. And then I just simply just dip the cotton ball into the actual oil and place it into the actual bag. And that's all you do. Then place the bag in one of the pockets or in one of the containers and it keeps everything nice and fresh. Now essential oils are a great moth repellent. So when you make these little sackets up and put them in the pockets, our mirror coats, etc., you want to make sure that you replace those about every three months. Plus that lavender smell is just absolutely amazing. And these are also great for your dresser drawers as well as your linen closet. Now I have on occasion taken the little cotton balls with the essential oils and placed them at the bottom of my silk floor arrangements. And I love the smell. Now to make sure that your shoes are nice and fresh, you want to take a few scoops of the South Paul Kitty Litter and fill your little bags with it up to about three fourths and just tie it up. Now I will provide you with a link to this video in the comments area. So please click onto it and you can see how I actually made those little baggots with just a needle and thread. Fill your bags with fresh kitty litter about every six months. It really works. Now I found this expanding and stacking shoe rack at at home. It was $14, but they had redlined it and I was able to get it for $7.50. I love the color. It is so easy to assemble and I just love how easy it slides. And it was just so easy to just take it into the closet and then stretch it out. I love how this is working out. Now there is no shame for our love for caps in our house. So every time that you see us on a casual occasion, one of us is going to be wearing a cap. So these containers are his and hers and the bibs are facing downward so you can easily slide it out. And the one in the middle is going to be ours for our gloves. Now to label them accordingly, I'm using the Magic Mill chalk board labels and you take off the adhesive on the back so that when you apply your hot glue that it adheres directly to the actual plaque. And I got these little plaques from Michaels for like 29 cents each. I 
I just love it. We also purged our closet for a donation. So several of the coats were given away and it's perfect for this time of year to give someone a coat. I love the Dollar Tree containers on the top. They are perfect and they are versatile. So when we get tired of using them this way, all I'd have to do is put on a different label. We do have additional hangers in the middle for our guest coats and the bonus hook that also came from the Dollar Tree along with those black hangers. I love that because I can move it to the outside of the door if someone has a wet coat and once I dry it off with a towel it can hang there and guys of course the actual odor eaters in the basket on the second shelf so that we can keep that area nice and fresh I love it I love it I love it I love it Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, I hope that you will consider doing so. And remember, you can also follow me on Twitter at Amateur Decor One. I'm also on Facebook, Pinterest, Google Plus, as well as Ruku Streaming via iFood TV.